What's up, guys? My name's Ariana. And I'm Maple. And today we are watching The Pacific, episode nine. Heck yeah. Yeah. Jeez. The island of Okinawa. The final step of the Allies' planned invasion of the Japanese mainland. Wow. There probably wasn't a more terrible campaign than Okinawa. They just keep saying it's more terrible every time. Every time it just gets worse and worse it's and worse and worse. Blood. Hundreds of thousands of Okinawan civilians were wounded oh. or killed, caught in a crossfire of battle. Oh, man. The devastation oh, was compounded by the torrential rains that swept the island. So the bodies would just constantly rot yeah, away. Okay. Could really do without these visuals. Yeah, you without the footage, yeah. The hill. Well, well, that's well. stupid. I would hate that. Mm -hmm. Chemicals, huh? What chemicals? I didn't treat them with all kinds of chemicals. I didn't hear that. Yeah, you think they're going to tell you? <laughs> hey, take mine. Okay, thanks. <laughs> He's such a rude ass. He just wants to hear you. Yeah. <laughs> My whole thing is like, while I know like they are the enemy, they are fighting against them. Like there's, oh, I just, bastard. Move. oh god. <laughs> like I don't know, it's just like there's, everyone here is people. Yeah, and the animosity, and I get it. Like you have all these feelings. Like you just watch your buddies die because of these guys and everything else. Like, but it's had the you, same this from is both sides. The Geneva, Geneva Convention. Convention. Yeah, exactly. It's just like you know, war crimes are war crimes, regardless. Like it's not right, you know. Speak Japanese. I'm an intelligence officer. Well, maybe you should use your intelligence and get these people off the trail. Yeah. Also, yeah, like that's a bad place to just have them sitting anyway. Yeah. Like, like tensions are high. Like have court martial. Mm. The terrain is insane. It, outrageous. Like we just went from walking on a trail to mm -hmm. like In, anarchy. Yeah. Into an active war zone. You know, all things considered, they that little group. They keep trucking. They get stuff done. They keep trucking. Yikes. You think that, you know, this far in and how many we've watched, it would still not be as, like, gut-wrenching every time you see something like that. But I have not been desensitized yet, so. No. That's great. Put a small hole at the bottom. Helps with the drainage. Don't know why you bothered. They'll be dead in two days. I feel like that's a bad call. I don't know what's wrong, but I don't like it. Yeah, homie, what are we doing? Oh, we're switching out a crappy poncho for the ammunition to put on ourselves, are we? And getting all of that yeah. wet? Yo, bro, come the f- That just made me so actually angry. Like, that is- You're a b Yo. Holy <sighs> hell. Oh, that's bodies. Right. Stop. That's dead. Whole island's a graveyard. You get in your hole and start digging. Fire! Oh, they're all probably going to be short rounds. Because... This idiot. Literally this motherfucker. Stupid. Try again. No, I'm fucking around the whole wet. Yeah, because you're a piece of crap. Yeah, literally. Piece of stupid shit. idiot. God, what's wrong? I'm sorry. Like, I understand wanting to be dry and being in red, but like, but you just put everybody in so much more danger. Like, that was such a, like, oh. Mm. Obviously, they spelled it out for us, but for someone who knows nothing, I knew yep, that so would be the wrong call. Stay there. Yeah, you sure do. We need 60 mortar. Take G. I'm so mad. Like, I don't know, like, <laughs> like. It's hard to see. Oh no. <gasps> they killed them, their own people. <gasps> Civilians. Oh, baby. Hey, let's get still alive. Get still alive. <gasps> Right after I put my glasses back on. 
Yo, if I ever meet Tom Hanks, I'm gonna punch him in the face <laughs> for that scene specifically. I will. I. Tom Hanks better count his days. That was unnecessary. For real, who is that? He's dead. Keep moving. Oh my god. Look, and then because that guy got the rounds wet, he cost yep. that guy his life. Yep. yep. I, don't, I have the same feelings, my guy. And they just had to watch a little kid get killed. Mm -hmm. Now that's a piece of ass. Hey, careful, ask your man's wife you're talking about. <laughs> Kathy Jones? I thought you said your name was Peck. Like, it's not your wife. <laughs> oh, that's rich. I met her after I was drafted. What? Drafted? <gasps> what kind of Marine is drafted? Oh, they just lost all the respect for him. Yeah, drafted too? No. They're arguing about that and all this stuff is going on. Well, I know. I don't blame him. It's not uh, awesome. He's terrified. Jeff's treating. Oh, I don't know. We're leaving. Second squad, let's go. On me. We're moving up. Yeah, dude. Yeah, congrats. Take it some ground. Because right. he f the ammo, dude. You were gonna get an ass and shot him. Yeah, literally. That's what I'm you, like. You deserve all great. of that guilt. You deserve all of that. Like I. By the time you face side boys, got to see what the war's all Not about. Not now, Bill. Mm -mm. Need more damn men up here. Mm. Let's go. Right, it's like oddly quiet. Mm hmm I don't like it. This is a very weird. It feels very much like a setup. Like this is a lot. That's a lot. I know. I'm like listening. I'm trying to see if I can hear anything. Let's go, move, bro. Yeah, go. Come on. Oh, one has a baby. Or are they like bring a no? Or do they have bombs? It's not a baby. It's like bombs. I feel like it's not real. Oh, oh no, that's no, a crying. That's crying. a baby. Okay. Probably because she knows what's about to happen, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. oh. I can't. Uh. Uh. Who just got that guy? Fire, God damn it! Snafu. Uh. Oh Lord. Incoming! It's Rawls. There is no goddamn reason. <sighs> I'm so sick of this. <laughs> the fact that they use their own people to go and do that. My dog died. <laughs> I'm sorry. They can't f surrender? I hope they don't. I hope we get to kill every last one of them. Why don't you get a new old poncho off a dead body? This one suits me just fine. Ugh. 
feel like that Snaffy's not like a total like he's Mm-mm. not totally in like you know like he's not mean just to be mean all the time. No, like he busts balls and then he's like different yeah. from what? Hey, hey, dig that any deeper, they'll get you for desertion. <laughs> Got here April first, Easter Captain. Sunday. That's sixty-six days. Trying to wipe tears from one eye of my one side yeah, of my yeah, eye, and they're falling out the other. I can't stop my face. Like I've just. I need a stovepipe boy up top. Sledge, that's you. Bring some calm wire. Like trying to take a piss. Uh huh. Get a spool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh sh. Oh. Get your ass up here. Yes, sir. That was awful. That was terrible. I'm glad we're past that. Yeah. I'm like genuinely happy that I am as hungry as I am because I think I would have actually puked. Hunter saw Japs move into the hut to the left of the big tomb. XO wants a round on the farmhouse in sector two. One round, H E. Let oh. zero. Add fifty and try again. Wow. Oh shit. Wait. Wait till they're close. Jesus, sledge, leave him. What for? Oh. He's a Jap, ain't he? Jeez, fire, God damn it! <gasps> I told you to cease fire. Are you supposed to be observing? I see you with a goddamn sidearm. We were all set here to kill Jap, weren't we? So what the hell difference does it make? What weapon we use? I just my goddamn hands. First, they order us to punch forward when we ain't got enough body. Then they order us to sit on. Jesus Christ, shut up! You! Shut up! Peck! Peck, sit down! Peck's losing it. Come on! Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on! Come on! Come on! <gasps> you fuck- Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh. The fact that this kid is like written about, he's basically like- <laughs> You stupid, stupid, stupid bastard! You idiot! He's killed three people You're okay, now. Pat? No? You're okay. <laughs> hey, I'm dead. Gone. You two, get him out of here. Hi, sir. <sighs> now he feels guilty that the whole thing that started it was a stupid f-ing poncho. No, no. <sighs> Done, man. <laughs> Excuse my language. This is this is too much for one episode. It's... I quite literally do not have the time for this today. Might be a trap. Lots of people fired mortars up here. It doesn't matter.
find anything? No. All right, let's get these boots squared away. Where's Bergy? Jack. Hey, what the hell is wrong with you? Do you feel good? He's a damn kid. What's your problem? He's a Jap. We're here to kill Japs, ain't we? Check him out. That's pretty. Dropped some kind of new bomb on the Jap mainland. Don't get me, though. They bribed an entire city in the blink of an eye. Uh, word is, Battalion Mess is serving cokes and steaks tonight. Might even get a movie. Yeah, load up. Let's go. Get out of sight. Oh, thank God. I'm ready to go home. So yeah. that's my discussion video. <laughs> um yeah. I the only takeaway that I can say that like I'm happy I watched was the fact that Eugene um comforted that woman as she passed versus just, you know, killing her. I mm -hmm. think that was the right move. That was beautiful. Everything else in this episode I could have left. So um yeah. War yeah. is gruesome or sad. It's very sad what we do to other human beings. Um, I don't really know how we, we discuss that or what we say other than that. I, you got anything? Um, you saw the breaking of soldiers spirits and what led them to make poor choices. And you, I'm cool. I also am happy that they did give like snap food that ref reflection. Like had I not, you know, tricked him out of his poncho yeah. a lot of things like would have led us there yeah. so it was cool to like show that he did have that kind of realization everything else yeah i don't cool it's not cool obviously it's not like yeah it's really dark what happened there and everything else i just like for me 110 percent. again i know we mentioned it before but i rather read a book on this yeah i've been informed that way i didn't i would have rather read eugene's you know autobiography or whatever he put out um i didn't need to see that period um no um watching kids get shot and killed uh, is just yeah. not on my list of things that that's it i mean again yeah it is a retelling of things that happened and what i just it's too it's too gory for me it's too i mean i'm if that's your thing and you can get through that and you are desensitized to it um you know i don't want to say good for you because it's that's not really a positive but just yeah. for me personally like i will never rewatch this and maybe i'll go read eugene's autobiography again or something like that but like i just this is too much for me I don't emotionally know. i just feel like, drained i don't yeah it almost um like i think that storytelling can go one of two ways and i think that's what's really powerful about film and even writing mm -hmm. um and at least for me, like, I feel like I have had more moving stories told to me in terms of, like, war and history. And, like, this is just, like, I'm just disappointed. It, it, like, it, I, it doesn't make me feel any type of way about the information that I just received other than, like, I didn't want to watch any of I that. I didn't want to watch any of it. And, I, and like, like partway through, like, it's, like, we do this because, you know... It shows that it, people have enjoyed it, and it, it again, but it's just for me, it's just it's overkill. Um, it, it's just too much. It's just too much. It, it takes away from the story. I mean, I feel for them. I feel for Eugene and everything else. But I, like, I don't like the fact that by the end of it, I'm like, thank God it's over. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I, thank God that this episode yeah. is over. And, and it's like if there's a whole book, right? Like, I, I just wonder, like, to sit down and read like the book versus like watching yeah. the show. Like, how much are they just pulling for their own dramatic effect mm -hmm. of the show which is where like there are a couple scenes in this where it's like this is just getting ridiculous like this is just literally ridiculous like why are why are we showing these specific things when it's like you have the men there like 
obviously we they're present in the beginning of the film like they're Mm -hmm. there to be able to talk about things and it's like why i don't know i would just really rather like i think from my own past experience like hearing stories directly Mm -hmm. from people um and having them tell it as opposed to like having some sort of hollywood mock like come over it and make this whatever this is you know um and maybe i'm just being harsh and critical but like it's just it's not it, and and the thing is, for me. no That's matter how say. you look at it, it's all negative. Yeah, yeah. And and if anyone wants to say like, well, this is how it was, like this is how it actually is, and like that's just war. We like, we get that, and like, yeah, the other but time, that, but they... that doesn't get rid of the fact that it's still bad. Like it, nothing about that was good. Like why I'm like, yeah, let me just sit it, down and watch some children get shot today. Yeah, it just it's not enjoyable television for me. I it just it breaks my heart, no. it breaks my soul. And again, I watched Band of Brothers, and I enjoyed watching Band of Brothers. I have not. Well, and that's the thing. Enjoyed like, I think any that there is a way to tell stories and mm-hmm. be honest and forthcoming with the information and events that actually happen. That's not this way. Yeah, it's just too much for me. It's too much blood and gore. It it it, it hurts. Yeah, I, and I feel for every single one of those you know soldiers who came back different because that is what they're viewing and that yeah, is yeah of course that I mean, is like but I have for, very from a viewer standpoint I can't. It's just not yeah like I don't know like I just have family. Mm-hmm. I don't know like even me like I have family yeah. and people who are close to me like we all do. Um, like I know my dad was yeah a Vietnam you do vet. too yeah, yeah like my dad is still yeah in the military just, like and i appreciate everything they do and that's and and i just want to make this very clear this is not an attack on our armed forces or anything like no. that it's just this version being shown in this manner i just feel uh, like there could have been a way that could have like nodded to more respect to the people yeah. who like were actually experiencing i don't know to i don't me, know I and just, like rev- I, yeah i just, i just feel like overkill i've seen better displays of like our service members and like what they Mm -hmm. are were actually going through that still left a very big impact Mm -hmm. on me and people around me Mm -hmm. like i took an entire course on college actually two courses i ended up taking um in college that were around that and like those what i learned and the people that i spoke to and met and the stories that i heard and even like pieces of work and film that Mm -hmm. i saw during that time period Mm -hmm has will 100 percent have stuck with me and affected me more and more deeply than this show does and and it's just like i didn't even realize i picked up my vape sorry oh it's okay honestly well deserved in the midst of all of it but like and again like it's not to discredit like this battle i just think like could there have been a better way to tell this story yeah that just didn't include all of this cinematic just like yeah just like some of it at the end i'm just like we get it yeah like we get mm-hmm. it as the audience like we get it yeah. and and this is me and and this is what sucks about this because like you have to separate the material yes. from the production yeah and i think like uh you know we get into these discussion videos and i think i don't want people to think that like again like ariana said it is nothing towards like the the topic like it's nothing Mm -mm. towards the topic of the material it's how how they made this like how they decided to display everything and i don't know i just think that i like (sighs) why like why couldn't they have done a like a better and we still have one more episode and like i don't know but like why couldn't we have done a better job of just like honoring i don't know i just don't feel like we've honored the people in the film very well like yeah you, I don't. You I mean, get what I'm saying? No, I get completely what you're saying. It, it, like it almost, it's not. I don't believe it makes a mockery, but it does very much like. It it's too much to the point where yes, you have this bond with like you know, uh, Eugene and that stuff. But it, it it's just it it takes away. I know exactly what you mean, but I also can't say it because I, I'm not sure I, what it is. I don't is. know how I don't to know, describe it. it yeah. I, it's, I don't think it's making a mockery, but it's making it so – I hate the fact that I when we get to Pacific, I dread that I have to yeah, watch it that because I don't it's a story that it should be shared and it's a story that should know. But I don't like that I have to watch so much gore and watch so much like – I and that – and everything else i it, like, it's like you can watch moderation. you can show someone being shot you don't have to show somebody's entire guts going everywhere yeah you know what i mean and i get that this point like this is supposed to be raw and like but it it doesn't for me it's not coming across that way it's coming across 
unnecessary. Yeah. Like that's it, what, it's uh, just like, that's why I'm yeah. like, and then by the end of it, it's like, now I'm like, okay, like if I go and read these books, like, w- like, it's it's, like, it's gonna yeah. why like it did it did certain points like where the camera has to linger on like a kid being shot in the back with his family trying to run away yeah. and then like shot again after somebody's trying to save him and we have to hold the camera there for that long like in terms of directing and writing like i get that we're going off of another story but like was that really pawned on that long in the book like is that what we're really talking about right like, yeah it you just, know it, like it's the dramatization of it all yeah and, just, and i think that's where like i'm just like i'm, I'm it feels really, like, i get i know what it is it feels shallow yeah it feels yeah, shallow like, it feels like we're watching it feels like they try to make an action movie out of this or an action series yes. versus the rest of it gratuitous gratuitous, gratuitous. Jackie gratuitous. Man gave us words yes like yeah that's what just, yeah I don't know. It's just not hitting the mark for me. It's not. And in terms of just visuals and production and writing. Mm. That's why I said if I ever see Tom Hanks, like, I just, like, I don't, like, I just think that there could have been a more gracious way to portray, um, like, th- like, there is. There is a more gracious way to portray very vulgar and awful things and still do it in an artful manner. And from what yeah. I understand, like, Band of Brothers seem to have a profound effect. And people have said they feel like Band of Brothers is better than The Pacific. And I would have to go back and watch it. But I feel like you're, uh, I can you're speak saying from experience. that. Like, That's the only reason just... I was down to watch this was because, like, well, Band of Brothers was hard. And it shows some. Yeah. It, it's just not to this degree. And that's what I'm saying. It's it almost gets to, to the degree. point where it's like, okay, like, how many times like, how many time are we just going to keep watching people get shot in yeah. the head? And, like, we're just losing yeah. track of the story because now you know like yeah it's like like think about it from a t- pers- like from writing it's like okay sledge uh, sledge goes to, eugene goes to take a pee mm-hmm. falls into water hole where a decomposing body was freaks out maggots like and we spend an entire you know what i mean like we spend an entire moment on that when like if there's a whole book about this i can guarantee you that there are plenty of other things and or we could have just spent more time with the actual people like yeah. we were obviously filming with the actual people and the the men who like got to go home so mm-hmm. it's like why aren't we talking more to yeah, yeah. yeah. to safu mm-hmm. and eugene like why aren't you know lecky like why aren't we actually like spending more time on camera with them which is from what i understand how band of brothers was yeah well it you does the opening time. well it does the opening but you do get to know the characters more there's a lot more exposition there's a lot more uh, again it's the storytelling aspect of it it's yeah. not just in your face where like don't get me wrong there are very long like fight scenes but are critical and they 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 add to the story versus detracting from it yeah and, and this like, feels like yeah it almost just gets to the point where it's just like yeah all right here's another gory episode and i don't know it's just like what and then it just abruptly cuts to them being like, all right, you're going home now. Yeah. that That's, that's, you know it. what I mean? It, yeah. it just feels like the, I lost it. The cohesion lost me mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah. So, well, that was episode nine. Yeah. On to 10 next week. Thanks for watching with us. And yeah. We'll catch you later. Yeah. And we do, I mean, well, oh, well, I guess before I say bye, like we do have a lot of service members, I feel like that come oh, yeah. and watch, obviously. And so, like, it is, not you know what i mean like no discredit to anybody and like obviously thank you for everyone's service that does watch and like puts themselves through um this through this and i mean i think like this is past majority of like um like most of our people's time like these men are very old now um but like even now today just war is different in its own way um but yeah so if you are serving like still thank you for for your service and like our critique on the filmmaking of this show is not to discredit like your life and like the sacrifices you have made because i know Mm -hmm. like even from my perspective like i would never discredit the sacrifices that my family has made um and that the people closest to me have had to make um and the people that i've lost um so like this is just one show um and i think that there are many beautiful works out there that like portray uh, service members and like do a good job of describing like what they go through um and are really good storytelling but unfortunately i just don't think pacific is (laughs) is hitting the mark for me um and that's just one person's opinion so please don't take that to heart like Otherwise, like I, I don't, 
I'm yeah, not, yeah. Not but it's just uh, you have to we're like, rambling yeah we're, we're, i just, just want people to know like we are looking at this from a tv show perspective yes, absolutely not in terms of like you like like i said removing the material from the production side so yeah. um yeah all right it's more of a critique for for production in hollywood than it is <laughs> on anybody else you know absolutely <laughs> um all right well like ariana was saying <laughs> earlier we'll see you guys on the n- the next the next round one, the of shows one. the next Everything episode else. yeah bye, bye.